Hello, everyone. So we are in the middle of an Octorian portal until around the 21st of October, but this video is timeless. It is timeless and it is here to help anyone who wishes to connect with the Octorians. I even have this wonderful background from the lovely Rosa Maria Marque light channel. And this one here reminds me of the Octorians specifically. So I thought I'd uh, place this background on the video. But the Arcturians are really wonderful beings to connect with. They are fantastic. And the reason being is because they, they can bring such a simplicity, um, a joy. They're, they're very funny, in all honesty. Anyone that I've channeled Arcturians um, for in any of our live appointments, um, the live child guidance appointments, they always have a bit of a, a bit of a blast with the Arcturian energy because they are very humorful, humorful, humorous. <laughs> um, but they really do have a simplicity of um, explaining how we create, how our mind creates things, the universe, the function of it, the physics and science. They love that stuff. The technology, they're very, very, very advanced. And when we are um, wanting to connect with them, well, first, um, you know, I always find it helpful when I'm connecting with anything, you know, to meditate first. And this might sound um, overly simplified, but it's it's very relevant. And we spoke about this in the Merkaba workshop that we did on the 10th of the 10th, where first you have to learn to still the mind, to empty it, to calm it, before you can then be mindful, right? And the point of which being is that if you cannot discern your own inner chatter, calming those thoughts and those waves and the mindlessness that you might have in the untamed mind, which we all have, until we start to tame it and train it, then it's going to be very, very challenging to connect with any being, whether it's angelic, higher self, unicorn dragon, star being, ascended master. We're going to find it really challenging and really complicated, really um, heavy. So you must practice mastering your mind because it is through the mind that the energy is interpreted. I personally always find it really fun to, when I'm channeling, of course you can do it at any point in the day, but when I was first starting out, you know, being in a space without too much electrical input is always helpful. So if you're in a room that's got a television and phone line and internet cables and modem and all that stuff, that's going to be a little bit too much, maybe, because everything is energy, everything is electricity. And how we tend to channel is usually through those electronic waves. Finally, <laughs> finally, the moon has a really beautiful way of helping activate our lunar body, our astral body, our subtle skills, our psychic abilities. Whereas the sun is really, really wonderful and helpful as well. The sun can also do this, but it's with our subtle body that we are connecting. If we're looking at the psychic capacity of communicating telepathically with another species of beings. So take a nighttime walk. I love going out in the evening, especially when it's autumn or winter. I love going out after it goes dark or even before the sun rises in the morning. And just having that moment of stillness before, before lots of people get up, you know? When the moon is out, the stars are shining. Because really, even though all is one, if you are out in the evening looking up at the stars, it's going to help connect with the energy you're wishing to connect to. But of course, you can connect through videos such as a channeled one. But that's my perspective. I wonder what they might say if we ask them the best way to connect with them. So let us ask.
Good evening and good day. Welcome, welcome. We would say welcome to this transmission. Just a short one today. How to communicate with us? Well, we are here for all of you. It is not something super special or unique. It just takes a little practice. But we would say the simplest way in which to connect with us as the Arcturians. It's like how you would connect with any other friend. You pick up your phone, you dial their number, although no one seems to dial numbers anymore, but once you have the number in your phone, you call their name. And the phone, it dials, and they may pick up. The difference is, is we always pick up the phone. Your friends might not if they're busy. We always pick up the phone because you are always calling at the perfect time when we are ready to receive you. But if you do not have our number, then how do you get through? Well, simply by tuning in, connecting to someone who already has the number, let someone share that. Of course, we are using metaphor and analogy. Just connect, watch a video, feel the vibration of someone tuning into Arcturian energy. And it is Essentially, as though you have a friend telling you the number, the direct line to call, to get through. Because it all, is all just frequency, don't you know? Very simple, very easy. You just have to pick up the phone and call. So what does that mean? That means that you simply have the intention in your mind. Your mind is calm. And you send the intention to be open to receiving communication with the Arcturians. And in so doing, you have essentially dialed their number and picked up the phone. That is what we mean when we say that. And then we answer. But it will take practice to hear, just like learning a language, perhaps. Just like all those little things, you have to make sure that the volume is right and you practice a little. And the more that you do, the more fluidly we will move through you so you can interpret us. Deepen the connection with us. And the more that we chat, the more that we converse, the more new that we can bring through you. Usually most humans also wish to get out of the way some of the questions about their own life and their own curiosities. And once that is out the way, and once your body is open to receiving as a receptacle as it is, then the conversations get far more fun. But to contact us like it is with any of our star friends, Pleiadian, Arcturian, Diamond Ones, does not matter. All you need to do is dial their number at the phone booth of your mind. And once you have that number, it's stored. It's there for life. So we await your call with anticipation and delight. But from us, that is all for this transmission tonight. Chat soon, no doubt.